So last time we saw the impact of jet on stationary plates and the plates can be a flat plate, vertical or it can be an inclined plate or it can be a curved plate. So there are three different formulas for the plates which are stationary. It can be a vertical plate, it can be inclined plate or it can be a curved plate. So we derive the formulas, let's list down the formulas once again for flat plate, for inclined plate and for the curved plate. So the formula for a flat plate, vertical fat flat plate, the formula for force exerted is rho a v square which we have already derived. So this force is the normal force that is exerted on the plate. So you can write Fn which means normal force. So next is example of the plate which is inclined at certain angle. Let, let's take the angle as theta. Theta is the angle made by the jet with the plate. So here we'll have, we have we have already derived the formula for the normal force that will be exerted on the plate because of the jet, and the formula is. So the normal force that is exerted on a plate because of a jet, normal force, it comes out to rho a v square sin theta. But here you can make two different components of this force, the x component and the y component. So let's see what the components are. So the y component is cos times the normal force and the x component is sin times the normal force. So the x component and y component can be written as So this is the x component of the force that is exerted on the plate when it is inclined at an angle with the jet. So there will be one more component is the y component. So let's see what y component is. So y component is fn times cos theta. So this is the formula for the cos component, so I mean the y component of the force that is exerted on the plate. So we saw flat plates, we saw inclined plate, next is the curved plate and all the plates here are stationary, the plates are not moving, the plates are stationary. Next is the curved plate. So when the plate is uh, curved and suppose the jet is coming uh, in a direction which is towards the center of the plate. So it comes and it diverges into two different parts. It goes up and one half part goes down. So the velocity will the leave, with the velocity of the jet leaving the plate will have two components, the sine component and the cos component. So let's consider the x component of the force. The x component of force looks like something like this. So this is the x component of force that is exerted on the plate because of the jet. 
and the y component of the force is zero here because the final velocity and the initial velocity they are the same and it becomes zero so that was all about the stationary plates now the next topic will be going on is the uh, moving plates thank you